Hi everybody. For those of you that don't know me, I am Shell from Fight Like Shell. Um, just doing a quick check-in today. I have an appointment today that I'm a little nervous about. And I'll explain why. So, back in September, I had my partial colectomy, the removal of my cancer, um, removal of lymph nodes, a reversal of a colostomy into an ileostomy, and a partial hysterectomy as well. I had lots of vigorous chemo and radiation, and um, it did some damage to parts. I would prefer for it not to damage, right? So... They warned me with the radiation. Sorry, I don't have my camera holder thing today. I just, we free hand in it. So they warned me that the radiation could damage my vaginal canal. And that that damage could cause a few different things, which is the shortening of the vaginal canal. No big deal. You know, whatever. Um... It could cause the little fibers that allow it to open and stretch to no longer open and stretch. And it could also cause so much damage that I would have it removed. That's right. I, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. The full removal of the vaginal canal. <sighs> yeah. Don't. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Um, with my hysterectomy, you know, there's stitches and whatnot on there. So, um, that happened in September. So the day after my reversal surgery, that was in November, I, uh, November 17th, I went in to see, you know, my gyno, my, she should doctor, if you will. And, um, you know, she's doing some checking and she says, you know, I hate to say this, but you've made zero progress on healing. None. Nothing has changed. The stitches are still there. It's just your body's not doing what it's supposed to do. And I panic. And I'm like, oh my God. So what does that mean? And she's like, well, you did have a lot of damage, you know, to your body. And because of chemo and things like that, you know, you're going to heal slower than most people. But you should have made some progress by now. And I'm like, cool. So what are we looking at? She's like, well, I'm going to see you again in a few more weeks, which is now um, January 19th. And we're going to give her another little look-see. And if nothing's happened still, if there's no progress, we're going to have to look at some other options. And I'm like, okay, so what are those other options? And she said, you know, I don't want to get into it right now because I don't want to make you panic. But it is what we've previously talked about, which would be the removal. So today I go in here in an hour. And they tell me if it's healed. Or if we're removing it. Panicking. A lot. I mean... You know, what does, what does that mean, you ask? The whole thing. Um, well, it means that they will... The uh, canal will be gone. Like, the opening will be there. You know, like I don't know how to explain it other than me being graphic and weird. Uh, the quarter slot will still be there. But the rest of it will not. It'll be closed. It'll just be there for looks. Um, you know, science is great. They, it, build me a new one, you know, whatever. Uh, we'll see. And then, you know, more blood tests and things like that today as well, which is cool because they're going to access my port and I punched myself in it earlier. Oh, <laughs> how you might ask. I was adjusting my bra strap and somehow like when I went to do this, like I slipped and when I slipped, I came back and I punched it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, yeah. So. I'll probably do another video later and explain, like, what happened. Dude, I'm shaking. 
<laughs> so, you know, needing some good thoughts and things today. Hopefully it all goes well. If not, I have to have a uh, pretty grippy conversation with my husband. You know, either way he loves me, he's stuck with me. You know, we're married, so the only way out is death. And, um, you know, I'm not going anywhere, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's, uh, we've, we've talked about, like, the what-ifs. And, uh, he's pretty amazing. So, we'll deal with that if it happens. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah, then I'll be the bride without a vagina. I don't know. What if they could build me like a cool one that does stuff? You know, with like buttons and my hip bones. You know? And if they can't, somebody should look into that. Yeah. Any, I'm going to get off here because if not, I'm going to ramble and stuff. And I have to let my dogs in because they're about to start barking and screaming. I will talk to everyone a little later and, uh, you know, don't like cough on each other, cough in anyone's mouth or let anybody cough in your mouth and, you know, be good. Talk to everybody later. Bye.